Good afternoon. It's tea time. Number 27. Before we get into today's tea, let's boil some hot water. As our water heats up, let's talk about today's tea. Today's tea is Beauty by Ahmad Tea. It's a caffeine-free tea, and there are 20 tea bags to the box. Let's read this tea's description. Enjoy this vibrant blend of green nettle leaves and fragrant lemon verbena. <clears throat> One more time. <clears throat> Enjoy this vibrant blend of green nettle leaves and fragrant lemon verbena with fruity, peachy flavor. Helps to bring out your own natural beauty. Let's read, let's read this tea's brewing instructions. To enjoy, infuse in 200 milliliters freshly boiled water for five minutes and enjoy as part of a healthy, balanced diet. Sit pretty and let your natural beauty glow. With our hot water being just under boiling, we are prepared to steep our tea unless I cannot get this tea box open. What I will do is pan to the next cut of me putting the tea bag into the water. Great. So all we have to do now is wait five minutes and then we are free to try our tea. Happy New Year, by the way. Is this the first one I've done? This is the first one I've done since the New Year. I set a goal of an undisclosed number of these tea reviews I'd like to do this year. Um, but yeah, it's nice to set goals for a year. Although I have daily goals and goals that have existed regardless of year and time of year. Um... I think the beginning of the year is always cool to reflect and set new, push new limits. Also, I'm fascinated by the balance of judgment of oneself and then letting yourself be free. I, I don't think you'll ever be free of both of those things, like you always have one in the other. In moments of judgment that you will be free and in moments of freedom there will be judgment however i am really interested in in the structure of those two and how you can structure your life where there there, there will be moments of planned judgment and moments of planned freedom such as this tea review, a moment of planned freedom. And the moments of judgment come when I'm editing and reviewing the tea reviews. They, they help me, or the editing itself helps me reflect on the things that I liked about the episode and maybe the things that I didn't like, the things that I'm critical of. Um, and as long as that process continues, um, I'm going to be really happy with whatever the results whatever the results are because um i'm i'm giving myself both of those things i'm giving myself freedom and giving myself moments to criticize and both of those things are essential for growth so a recommended five minutes of steep time is up. Let's try this tea and hopefully get more beautiful as we do. First couple of sips here. I already really like this tea. Uh, it's interesting, the color I was expecting to be pink, but there's a photo also of the 
I think the tea that's already been brewed and it shows an identical color or this is actually a little darker than the one that I have in my hand uh, it's almost like a black tea but so far the taste has been <clears throat> really good really soothing and very peachy there are definitely sweet elements to this tea but they're hard to pinpoint I definitely I think it's like it must be aloe vera which I know is in this tea but it's almost like a light honey like I said there's definitely peach in the tea but I don't think that accounts or that adds to its sweetness necessarily it's kind of like a funky tea in a way because it's it's like a herbal black tea sometimes I have issues with these teas that really try to mix in things that are super savory and then super sweet because they'll they'll clash uh, but in this case, it's working very well. I think there definitely are savory elements to this tea too. A little bit more. Uh, it's not sour. It's not. It's just like heavier, darker elements, like woody elements, earthy, earthy elements. Uh, green is what I mean. Like there's greens in this tea. This tea is a seven seven. very pleasant um, and there's a lot going on to be honest it's like a it's like kind of a, a heavy mixture um, but the tea you know plays the line of being a little too heavy like being a little overboard overbearing and also being light so I, I like that balance there I like the balance of flavors although I can't pick them all out I definitely taste aloe vera I taste like some green element, like I said, like an arugula or like just like a lettuce leaf, some earth. Um, but overall, a pretty good tea. Um, something I'm definitely going to keep in my collection I, uh, as I acquire teas. I like to give the ones away that I'm not a huge fan of. <laughs> but maybe my friends and family will like the ones that I give to them. Um... But that's it. That's that's a review for today. 7-7 uh, seven, seven for this Beauty Ahmad tea. And, uh, and <laughs> thanks for sticking around. Uh, please l leave a comment, uh, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel. And more tea reviews are on the way. So thanks so much. Cheers.